Nikola Tesla will always be among the most intelligent, creative, and inquisitive scientists ever. It is not surprising that even when others are silent, this great scientist seemingly has shocking things to say about the pyramids of Egypt. In fact, there seems to be more to these pyramids that meets the eye. What exactly is Tesla trying to make us see? Keep watching to find out. Throughout his lifetime, the brilliant inventor, engineer, and physicist Nikola Tesla had contributed significantly to developing modern electrical systems and scientific research. With great insights that are rare to see in the average man, Nikola Tesla seemed to have much to say about our world, past, present, and future. It may surprise you that the big name Tesla is not only attached to one of the world's leading electric car companies led by Elon Musk, but the name was in fact that of one of the greatest men that ever lived. It is a fact that we have so much to thank Nikola Tesla for, especially whenever we flip a light switch and receive a flooding of light. Never getting married or doing much in other areas of his life, Nikola Tesla devoted himself to the scientific research and inventions that made life relatively easy for us today. And as if that was what he was born to do, he started his course pretty early in life. Looking at his childhood, we could almost guess that Nikola Tesla was not an ordinary child. He was sparkingly brilliant. He was able to do integral calculus without uttering a single word. His teachers thought he was cheating, but that was just how gifted this genius was. Nikola Tesla was said to have a photographic memory and could remember entire books and images in great detail. A lot of good things can be attributed to Nikola Tesla. He advocated for renewable energy sources and was one of the first people to experiment with solar power. This is apart from his numerous inventions that are still in use today. These included the AC power generation system, the Tesla coil, the radio, remote control, x-rays, induction motor, and the bladeless turbine. In his lifetime, Tesla was fascinated with the idea of wireless energy transmission and spent much of his career trying to develop a system for it. But his theories also kept building up, as well as his interest in other things, which included the pyramids of Egypt. Groundbreaking are the numerous discoveries made by Tesla about the pyramids of Egypt. In 1905, Tesla filed a patent with the US titled The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium, outlining designs for a series of generators worldwide that would tap into the Earth's ionosphere for energy collections. He saw planet Earth itself with its two poles as a giant electrical generator of limitless energy, and the pyramids of Egypt were an inspiration for this thought line. Following this, Tesla became heavily laden with a burning passion for developing a system that would tap into the pyramid's secrets and generate energy from the Earth's ionosphere, making the power accessible to all. This ambition was too big for a speedy accomplishment, but his discovery of the secrets of the Pyramid of Egypt and his acting on it was one big step towards achieving this dimension of power. But what exactly is the secret behind the pyramids? The pyramids of Egypt are ancient structures located in Egypt, built by the pharaohs of the Old and Middle Kingdom periods between 2613 BCE and 1650 BCE. They were allegedly built to be tombs for themselves and their consorts, and pyramids were constructed over a thousand years. The first pyramid, the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser, was built during the Third Dynasty in 2670 BCE. The last pyramid, the Pyramid of Amos was constructed during the 13th dynasty in 1803 BCE to 1649 BCE. Finally built and shaped like a geometric pyramid with a square base and four triangular looking sides that meet at a single point at the top, the Pyramids of Giza stand. The pyramid's exterior is made of quarried limestone blocks and transported to the pyramid's construction site. The blocks are cut and polished to fit together perfectly, forming a smooth and nearly seamless surface that would make anyone ask why so much investment would be made on a mere entombment site. But the pyramids were not entombment sites at all. Inside the pyramids are narrow passageways and chambers, supposedly meant for burying the royal deceased. But perplexing is the fact that most of the dead royals 
are not interned in the pyramids, but rather in the Valley of Kings. What does this tell you? Again, Tesla's research showed that the shape, location, and materials used for building the pyramids were not coincidental, but very much strategic, like something meant to generate power. The pyramid's location was not only in line with the Earth's cardinal points, but it also aligned almost perfectly with the North Pole. It is worth knowing that when you connect the North Pole out to space, you will find that it points to the Polaris star. And while we know that this position is not permanent, it is quite hard not to conclude that the pyramids were a medium of communication with the universe for ancient Egyptians as well. But how was the alignment done in the first place? An alignment as accurate as that was almost impossible without a compass or a good tool of measurement, which the ancient Egyptian builders lacked. How then were they able to measure and align the pyramids according to the Earth's cardinal points? All fingers pointed to the use of the famous autumnal equinox, which engineer Glenn Dash opined was the probable solution. While people doubted the accuracy of the equinox measurement to a great extent, Dash proved them wrong by conducting a prototype measurement scenario using the same method, and the results, which had few errors recorded from this action, were the same as that of the pyramids of Egypt. Until today, so many mysteries revolve around these pyramids that Nikola Tesla seems to have been obsessed with the pyramids of Egypt and their mysteries. Why was he so particular about these pyramids? Shockingly, from his crazy research about the pyramids, there seems to be a possibility that these pyramids meant much more in ancient times than we know and were built for a higher purpose other than housing mummies. Surprisingly, Nikola Tesla did believe that pyramids contained the power to send energy wirelessly, and many factors came into play to support his idea. Driven by his love of energy and electricity, even while he investigated the pyramids, his investigation could not be separated from finding ways to send energy wirelessly. Another shocking discovery about the pyramids was that they did not have four sides. There are slight shadows carved on each side of the pyramids which can only be seen from above or when using the shadows of the equinox. There also seems to be a numerical significance in how the pyramids were built. The length of the sides is about 481 feet, with a base perimeter of about 3,024 feet. Now, just like the number three seemed very special to Tesla, the numerical measurements put into building the pyramids were also significant. For instance, when you multiply the length of the pyramid sides, which is 481 by 43,200, you get a total of 3,938,685 miles, which is 11 miles within the Earth's polar radius, recorded to be 99.7% accurate. Also, by multiplying the pyramid's base perimeter, which is 3,024 by 43,200, you'd get 24,734.94 miles, calculated to be the Earth's equatorial circumference, being about 99.3% accurate. Tesla believed the pyramids were powerful electromagnetic energy generators, which seemed probable due to the materials used to build the pyramids. The outer walls of the pyramids are built with a kind of limestone tightly bound to impenetrability. The tips of the pyramid are made up of gold, also known to be a powerful electromagnetic conductor, and the middle is made up of granite, a powerful energy transceiver. Amazingly, a combination of these materials alongside sunlight, water, and the right height was found to be everything needed for wireless energy transmission. And the pyramids of Egypt had them all. The inside of the pyramids are made of walls that contain limestone that are powerful for conducting electromagnetic energy. Following his investigation of the pyramids, Tesla got the inspiration for his experimental Walden Cliff Tower, also accounting for his designs for generators that could theoretically use the Earth's ionosphere as an energy source. He said his prototype tower would carry energy as far as Paris and France. He built a tower facility known as the Tesla Experimental Station in Colorado Springs, alongside the Wardenclyffe or Tesla Tower on the East Coast, taking advantage of the Earth's energy field. The location was chosen according to the laws of the Pyramids of Giza and was built according to the relationship between the planet's elliptical orbit and the equator. The pattern of the tower was also in alignment with that of the pyramids. The tower was built on top of an aquifer, 
that could discharge negative ions from the tower top, with its iron copper reaching down into the water to receive energy that would be discharged into the aerial atmosphere and collected by receivers where the energy could be received by people for utilization. The design was intended for wireless energy transmission, according to the same pattern as the pyramids. These pyramids were also built on top of an aquifer, with copper and iron said to have been recently discovered in the area. The River Nile flowed closely around the pyramids, causing vibrations and forming an electrical current, which would be transferred through the pyramid's granite stones to the top of the pyramid's capstone, in a process summed up to be known as physioelectricity. So did the pyramids ever generate electromagnetic energy? And was there ever electricity in ancient Egypt? There is no proof that ancient Egypt ever got power from the pyramids, although the glyphs and objects resembling a light bulb prove suspicious in this regard. While the methods used to utilize the pyramids' power weren't clear, they seem to have been a disruption in history that destroyed the pyramid. A close examination of the pyramids shows they are not the same as when they were originally built. Research suggests something disastrous may have happened, destroying the original state of the pyramid. But what exactly was the case? Somehow, hydrochloric and sulfuric acid were discovered in parts of the pyramid, while others had zinc and ammonium chloride. This did not tell of good, because when these acids meet, the result is an explosion. Also, the pyramids have survived thousands of years and may have likely been met by a disaster like the Ice Age and may have flooded the area, causing disruption to the atmosphere and leading to an eventual explosion. This is, of course, an assumption, but there is a possibility that things may have happened this way. Judging from the scorched marks found in the Grand Valley of the ceiling and the crack that has also been found in the southeastern ceiling at the King's Chamber, researchers claim that there must have been an earthquake in the area. We can never tell what happened, but probably whatever the pyramids were made for were possibly long destroyed and buried, just like Tesla and his big ideas that evaporated in his sudden death. We can only imagine what the world would have looked like today if all of Tesla's dreams for the world were accomplished. What are your opinions about Tesla's thoughts on the pyramids of Egypt? Will Tesla's dreams for the world ever become realized in the future? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you've enjoyed this video, ensure to like, share, and subscribe for more.